Well, I know people often like to know about the life of an artist. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you a little about, bit about my life. Uh, my alarm is set for 5.30, but I usually wake up before my alarm. So I woke up a little before 4, and then I did sleep a little bit more. One of the things I do is put this throw on my bed. It's from the Polish Fulbright Commission. It was a gift for my wife while she was sick. Uh, so I put this on my bed every day to say thank you to them and to remember her. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start getting dressed to walk. I like to take a walk before dawn. So I keep my, <laughs> keep my walking clothes by the bed. Now I'm dressed for walking. Oh, those in the window, I put, uh, I call those my $15 blackout curtains because uh, they just cost $15 and they black out the light. So now I'm going into the kitchen to make some coffee. Can't live like, it <laughs> can't live like this without coffee. Uh, so let's turn the light on, a little light. And uh, there's my coffee maker. There's my grinder. So I make <clears throat> two double shots of espresso. I do make the espresso half, half cap. Um, I have, as I've gotten older, I've had to be more careful about how much coffee I drink. Uh, because I do, <laughs> I'm not great at sleeping. Uh, but I find that if I am careful with how much coffee I drink, I do better. And what I like to do is preheat everything so my coffee will stay hot. So a minute and a half in the microwave. My kitchen is a wreck right now because I just had a bunch of people in my house. Uh, and I haven't cleaned up after that yet. So I weigh my coffee. I do anywhere between 14 and 14 and a half grams. It's a little too much for um, each double shot. That's good. This is a decaf double shot here. In the grinder. And now I'm going to get my preheated water, my preheated cups. Uh, this is the cup I'm going to drink it out of. This is a little cup that I made when I was doing high fire oxidation porcelain in uh, Milwaukee. In the in 79 to 81, I still have a quite a bit of the pottery that I made because I was never good at selling it, so. So like I said, this is decaf. And here's the regular one. Now these these little uh, espresso cups are about two and a half ounces, um, so it really is a double shot. Okay, so now I'm going to take my coffee out on the deck and sit under the stars. It's not um, terribly cold this morning. It's in the 40s, um, so I don't have to put on the winter parka that I sometimes wear out here. 
Oh, I love this time of day. Um, I always have. Uh, those are lights at neighbors' houses. I'm sorry that uh, I don't want to use a light because I don't want to disturb the neighbors and I don't want to I don't know if you could hear that or not. That was a barred owl, B-A-R-R-E-D. It's the largest owl that lives in this part of the country. And uh, we hear them quite a bit. And they are said to say, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? <laughs> uh, my wife, Pam, loved hearing those owls. Anyway, my wife and I used to sit out here on the deck with our coffee before light and talk. Now I sit out here by myself, of course, and uh, it's my quiet time. It's a time to remember her. It's a time uh, to talk to her. So I'm going to stop the video for now. Okay, so... <clears throat> Now my coffee's gone, and I'm going to go inside and get ready to go on my walk. Okay, so here I go on my walk. It's a little earlier than I sometimes walk. These are two paintings by a friend and former teacher of mine, Dick Evans, who lives in Santa Fe. Anyway, headed out the door. Still dark. Uh, as I said, I, I love this time of day. I always have. Always been a morning person, early riser. I love getting out and walking before it's light. So this neighbor is up. She's always up early. She's from Buffalo, <laughs> or the Buffalo area. And uh, it's not 5.30 yet, and she's up. A little, way, a little ways up here, at the top of the neighborhood, there's an older couple. Uh, she's in her 80s, just beyond 85. He's 92. And my wife, Pam, always put their newspaper up on their stoop right next to their door so they don't have to go down their front steps to get it. I, I do that when I walk now, um, partly for them and partly for Pam, because Pam would be doing it if she were still here. And uh, it's just a nice thing to do for a neighbor. Um, might be too early for the paper today. The paper might not be here yet. I might have to remember to do that on my way back uh, and sometimes I forget when I walk before the paper is here let me just look here oh yeah it's not here yet so I got to remember to do the paper um, when I'm on my way back home so I walk out of our little neighborhood uh, to the next neighborhood over which is gated, and their gate doesn't open till 6 a.m., so I, uh, I know where their little path around their gate is, um, and I'll be going through that path this morning uh, because the gate won't be open. Like I said, it's not 5.30 yet, so the gate will still be closed. Most of the people in the neighborhood know me. They, they knew my wife. Uh, they have seen me they saw us walking every day, uh, see me walking every, every day a couple of times, and uh, so they're not bothered by the fact that I come in before their gates open. I, I know there are a couple of people in the neighborhood who don't like that people from outside come in and walk, uh, but most of, the, most of the folks are really friendly and uh, don't have a problem with that. It's a really nice time of day to be out and about. 
Okay, so here's the gate. It's closed. I'm gonna go around here to go to the little path that's here for to allow residents to get in and out before the gate opens or you know after it closes. Hopefully no uh, snakes or anything. Spiders, I hate spiders. Okay, so here I am on the other side of the gate. And uh, so now I'm gonna stop, the, stop this for a little while to concentrate on walking. Okay, I thought you might like to see this. We're in the city, but uh, in an area with lots of wildlife. Uh, there's another deer over there. Uh, it's starting to get light out. And I'm almost ready to head home. Okay, now I am approaching the gate and I see that the gate is still closed. And uh, it's very frequent that I enter this neighborhood before the gate opens. It happens once in a great while. I start walking early enough to leave before it opens as well, but that, that doesn't happen often, but it's a big, I, I uh, consider it a big win if I am also leaving the neighborhood before the gate opens. So uh, that means it's not yet six o'clock and I'll be leaving via the little path around the gate. Um, now hopefully again, I can go through this little path without Snakes or spiders. <laughs> it's a nice little gravel path. It's obviously made for exactly what I'm doing here. It almost tripped. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the video off for now. Okay, back in my own neighborhood, and uh, I'm going to put the neighbor's newspaper up on their doorstep, next to their door. So all they have to do is open their door and maybe use a grabber to uh, pick it up. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's on the stoop, but uh, I can improve things a little bit here. Make it. Okay, so I put their newspaper up by their door, just like that. It makes it a little bit easier for them to get it, which is good. Now here, a dog, big scary dog, <laughs> in that garage. Okay, coming back up to my house. Back from my walk. Okay, well, that's how I start my day. Next is to um, get my shoes off, take my cap off, hang it up there. Now I'm going to go make my oatmeal. I figured out some years ago how to, how to make regular oatmeal. And I'm sorry my kitchen is like this. Like I said... I just uh, have come off a week where I was very busy, lots of people here visiting, uh, my daughters both uh, staying in the house, and uh, it was for my wife's memorial service, and uh, that's one of my chores for the day, is to get my house uh, back in order, but right now it's uh, pretty out of order, but as I was saying, I figured out some years ago how to make regular oatmeal as instant as instant oatmeal so I'll show you how I do that uh, this can be one of those uh, life hack videos that you see on Facebook and YouTube all the time you need a container um, I often use a two cup measuring cup uh, this is a bowl that I made when I was a potter in upstate New York uh, in the 80s um, 
it's porcelain, cone 10 reduction. Okay, I found my one third cup measuring cup. Here it is. So for one, on oh, those canisters I made when I was doing oxidation porcelain in Milwaukee, before I was doing reduction. I couldn't have a gas kiln in, that, in the building I was in then. Okay, so a third of a cup for one serving. And uh, two-thirds of a cup of water. So it's, you know, however many servings you are going to have, it's one part oats to two parts water. And you got to have some extra room in the container because it's going to boil. And you don't have to stir it because it stirs itself. And it's not going to boil over because I'm going to put it on 30% power. Uh, so I can go take my shower while it's cooking. And because it's not transferring into another container, it's going to stay hot. But by the time I'm done with my shower and out here, it will be cool enough to eat. So, to make this really instant, seven minutes, power level three, start. There, that's it. Instant oatmeal, only it's not instant, it's regular, which is much better, I think. Okay, so, out of the shower, back to the kitchen. Here's my oatmeal. <coughs> You can see uh, it's all cooked, all cooked, um, put some raisins on it. I like to put black walnuts on it, but I'm out of black walnuts, so I'm going to put some pecans on it. I have some pecans in a sauerkraut jar. And I, I like to get pieces of pecans. I accidentally got um, half pecans, so. And then I'm going to put some spices on it. Let's see. Cinnamon. You can use as much cinnamon as you want, and it won't hurt anything. Same with cloves. For some reason, the cloves don't like to come out of the container as much. Nutmeg. Now, if you use too much nutmeg, it gets bitter, so I don't want to use too much. Oh, and sometimes I put a little ginger on it as well. And now, how about some honey? I don't really need honey because it's sweet because of the raisins, but I really like honey. And then let's uh, put that back there. I'm going to get some raspberries and blueberries. Okay, so blueberries. Okay. Not a bad, not a bad breakfast. Whole grain oats, nuts, raspberries, blueberries, honey. Very tasty. But before I eat, I'm going to open some shades to get some daylight in here. Okay, so now I've had my uh, oatmeal, and it's time for second coffee, what Pam and I always called second coffee. Uh, and while I drink my second coffee, I will plan my day and write some things in my uh, notebook, which I use for to-do lists and journaling. Um I've checked my email, I've checked my Instagram and Facebook. Uh, now I'm going to try to stay away from Instagram and Facebook for a while and uh, plan my day. 
while I have my the rest of my coffee for the day. So, it's so pleasant out this morning that I decided to bring my second coffee out to the deck. Um, when Pam and I had second coffee together, we would almost always have something that she had baked. She loved to bake. Uh, it was usually a scone. She liked to make scones. That was kind of a hobby of hers. Um, and I'm a good cook, but I don't really bake much. I have at times, but... So now, if I have something with my second coffee, it's usually store-bought or uh, just some nuts and chocolate. I thought I would turn my camera, thought I would turn my camera around here so that you could see me. Um, but here I am out on the deck. It's a beautiful morning. Um, So I'm going to enjoy my coffee and a couple of cookies and just do a little journaling and planning for the day. Um, I'm really off my routine now, uh, but I'm actually, actually I don't really have an established routine. Um, you've seen the part that is established. Uh, Pam and I of course had routines together and I'm working on establishing new routines now that she's gone. Um, those of you who knew her uh, know what an incredible person that she was. Um, I did not intend to make this video about her, but uh, for 49 years she was the absolute center of my life. And uh, to my surprise, that hasn't changed. Uh, now that she's gone. She's been gone seven months and she is still um, at the center of my life. Her absence, uh, my memories of her, my uh, admiration for her and obviously my love for her. Uh, those things remain at my core. So anyway, I'm going to turn this off and set it down so that I can enjoy my coffee. It's a little chilly out here. I'm shaking from the cold, but it's really pleasant. So I will see you all later. You take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the morning now, and uh, I'm down in my studio and trying to figure out what's the best use of my time right now. My studio is uh, <laughs> like the rest of my house. It's very out of order um, and really needs a straightening and cleaning. Um, but I, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for that. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of work in progress. And uh, I want to, I do want to make some progress on these paintings. It's a, series of three very similar paintings. Um, I want to make some progress on those. And then I, I'm also working on a whole lot of uh, small paintings on paper, uh, which I would love to make some progress on as well. Um, that's three of them, but there are, uh, I don't know, a dozen most similar and some quite different, like uh, these these three here are quite different. Um, sorry about that light. Um, and then of course I've got, like I have said before, I have I always have dozens of paintings in progress. And so I've got some others on paper that I started, oh, I don't know, more than a year ago, probably more than two years ago maybe more than four years ago. I don't know. I'd like to work on some of those as well. Um, but at the moment, I really kind of just don't feel like doing anything. I've kind of uh, been taking it very easy today since the earlier video. Um, and that's okay. I mean, it's been a very busy time. I'm tired. I've been staying up late a lot, getting up 
at the times that I normally get up, even though I've been going to bed an hour or two later than I, than I would like to. Uh, so maybe it's okay if I don't really get much accomplished today. Okay, that's it for now. Take care.